Emancipator's music is moving and cinematic. When they approached me to make a music video for a minor cause, I wanted to create abstract visuals to accompany the soundscapes that Doug creates. Working with him on this piece was really, it was really incredible to witness because Doug is his music. He is sincere, he's, he's so artistic and so articulate. He's a true artist. It's shown me, as a producer who always works by himself, when you collaborate with other people, especially in different mediums, you can really create something much bigger than yourself. The natural elements all mixing together, the, the helicopter, the wind kicking up the surf and the sand and the smoke. You just need the right equipment and the right people with the right ideas. Doug and Ilya were a blast and they were open to whatever concepts we came up with on the fly. We had a super small crew. And when people are kind of left to their own devices and able to come up with ideas, really beautiful, magical things happen. It was really great to just be able to trust Skip and Thatcher while they were out shooting, just to know that anytime they were behind the the camera that there was going to be something beautiful captured. Ben Moon gave Skip Armstrong and I so much creative freedom. He really knew that he could tell us the concept and that we could come through with some really beautiful images to help Emancipator. I've never really been a part of a project where the traditional lines between I'm a producer or I'm a cinematographer or I'm the director have been so blurred and had it work so incredibly well. Ben did an incredible job of bringing together, you know, really a dream team. One of the greatest things about this production was the chemistry amongst the crew. Everybody got along and were friends and we had this technology to work with that we didn't have five years ago. We didn't have cameras that were this small that we could fly in helicopters. For instance, the shot from going from Doug's eye all the way to the canopy of the forest, there's just no way to do that without a huge amount of rigging. These octocopters suddenly made that shot possible. It was really cool to be a part of a project where the director had a really creative eye. He had some great ideas for me and, and I could tell him what I was comfortable with and some ideas that I had and then we could come together with, with some really amazing shots. Through all the challenges of making this piece, when we finally nailed that lift shot, I knew it would all work out. I'm really happy with how this all came together.